the new building has brought all of our components into one space which creates a multidisciplinary organisation where we can attack the problems of the livestock industry from many different directions. We are now one of the largest animal sciences institutes in the world. The new Roslyn Institute building, which also uh, houses our colleagues from the Scottish Agriculture College, is a novel design. It's uh, changing the way we do science. The whole building is designed to maximise interactions and to get rid of the territorial way that science has been done in the past. I guess the new building could be really positive for our work because it allows us to uh, complement the skills that we have at the uh, Scottish Agricultural College with our colleagues at the Rawlson Institute. So we have a lot of experience in particular areas to do with livestock and their behaviour and we will be able to expand those interests into a whole uh, variety of different types of analysis and methodology. We've had a recent project um, which has been looking at how the experiences of these sows when they're pregnant can affect um, the welfare and the production of their offspring. So um, we've been looking at what happens when you mix pigs together during their pregnancy uh, into new groups and whether that uh, impacts on their offspring. The research at the uh Roslyn Institute is directed towards making the livestock industries, all of them, sustainable. And there is no choice with a growing population and a growing demand for meat to increase the productivity per animal and reduce the amount of input and reduce the amount of waste. The research that we do here can make a difference in, in many ways. In fact, already has done. I mean, the, for, to take animal breeding as an example, which is a, a strength of Roslyn and SECs over the years, we can very clearly demonstrate the economic benefits that have come from say breeding dairy cattle to be more productive or actually increasingly also more healthy and, and that is generating money for farmers, it's generating money for, for the general economy. The other thing we work on is animal welfare and that is not obvious to a lot of people but basically a happy healthy animal is also a productive animal and so we're in the business of actually improving animal welfare. We can actually work on problems that address the health of pigs and sheep and cattle, but are also directly relevant to solving the problems of humans. And indeed, we're also connected to the Royal Dick School of Veterinary Studies, and so we also work on the health of dogs and cats and horses. And we learn things about human biology, and we also translate human biology into the biology of our companion animals. This production is copyright, the University of Edinburgh.